up guys Marcus here what's going on everybody Mike I'm back and we are back for attack on Titan season 4 episode 9 only seven, seven left more, yeah after right, this going back quickly yeah yeah it's I'm starting to worry if they'll I mean I say this every week I mean only seven episodes but but hey, we haven't seen it yet I'm open minded seen it yet, uh, but yeah it's Kinda of seems like the uh, are we gonna get everything we need? But every episode has been flawless so far, so that is true. So um yeah, I'm very excited to see what happens next. But let's uh recap previous episode. Um kind of the epilogue to the giant battle. Yeah. Um we got our big fight, right? Yeah, we had our giant fight for five seconds. Yep. <laughs> Aaron and Reiner. <laughs> um Gabby snuck onto the Zeppelin and shot Sasha. Yeah, which was obviously insane. No one saw this coming. No one's very sad too, actually. Um, so we said we do a, a slight memorial, a celebration of life of Sasha, one of the comic relief uh, characters, one of the few. Um, so, yeah. So what was your favorite Sasha moment? Actually, a moment of Sasha. I was just watching it. Uh, episode. Uh, well, I don't remember the episode, but season two, where she. Uh, Cause that arrow through that Titan's eye, that was like crazy. It's like, wow, Sasha, you like murdered that Titan. She <laughs> had this double arrow, just like that was really cool. That was one of my favorite moments that she had. Like, showed like the strength that she had. Yeah, because even though know, she was a comedic character, so it was like her moment of actually seeming strong and having yeah. power. Yeah, and seeming yeah, yeah, useful. Yeah, um, I completely agree. Um, my favorite moments was always. The food gags, oh, like, yeah. I mean, she starts off, you know, trying to give the potato to the drill sergeant. Yeah. And the drill sergeant makes her like run laps. Um, but one of my moments is season three, part one, like the night before they go off to um for the giant battle. Um, um, the army gets all this food, and Sasha's just like stealing it, and <laughs> Connie's trying to stop her. And um, and one of my badass Sasha moments was this season. Um. When the cart titan is um, running around killing everybody, and there's those guys shooting, yeah. and Sasha shoots one of the gunners, and you see um, the little cannon um, symbolically go limp. Um, do you remember? Cannon symbolically. Yeah, um, cart titan's running around, and there's guys you know, shooting you know, on the cart yeah, titan. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And Sasha takes the gun and shoots uh, w uh, the guy right between the eyes. And, um, and, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah and then and and like a flaccid penis, the cannon uh, goes down. So, but now Sasha at the end showed, and even in um season three part one where she's sniping some of Kenny's soldiers, like she saves Connie in one scene I really liked. Um, but now um this is a dark show as we know, so yes, uh, one is. of the trends for dramas is to the shoo away the clowns trope, get rid of the comic relief as the series gets get, as it gets like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like in Breaking Dark. Bad, like remember Saul went away for the final two episodes, yeah. and yeah, that's what you do, so uh... Take away the comedic relief. Is, is Connie dead next season? I mean, next episode? He's the only get funny guy left, I don't know. Um, oh, and the, the other big reveal that happened is, you know, Zeke and Aaron are working together. Oh yeah, and, um, about that. Yeah, and um, That was an interesting twist. Yeah, and uh, Aaron's buddies don't like him anymore. They kind of imprisoned him a bit, and yeah, yeah, we still don't know what, what, how they're linked up. What is Zeke's plan? We're we gonna have to see. Yeah, but um, no, uh, I'm very excited to see what happens next. And also, every time we watch an episode, I'm like, oh, it's, it's almost over. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, but did uh, you rewatch it? Oh, you definitely, <laughs> definitely gonna rewatch it. All right, so uh, let's get started. Oh, flashback and so we're gonna see we're gonna see what happened during the four years. That's the first devils of the episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the devils, here we go. Now I think this is the um when they sit off screen, we've been sitting guys over there. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna see uh Oh <laughs> The 
it's not the first time Aaron was over. No, this is Paradise Island, I think. No, this is Marley trying to invade. Stop that. Yeah, you're right. Yep. There goes Sanji. We've said devils three times in one minute. <laughs> hey, four times. <laughs> oh. Oh no, it was Yelena. Huh? She was one disguised as a man to blur the trap in uh, for um, the cart and jaw titan. Got you. You yeah, remember she took her uh, beard off? Yeah. What the? Okay, that's interesting. interesting. That's supposed to be, be John? I hope not. Uh oh. Uh, Armin has that Escaflone nose. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're those giant noses. R really, Hanji? You have one eye left. Because they don't know what Ariel is, because they're so, you know, they're medieval Germany. That's what we said, because that loss, it was open season. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, that makes more sense. Zeke, Zeke, yeah. Okay, that's five. Five devils. Five so far, guys. Hey, Pixis! He's back. You've seen him forever. Yeah. My only issue with the show is I don't think they did enough with him. Yeah, he was a character. Mm -hmm. He's Aaron. No, he means himself. That's what he needs it. Aaron knew this to try to keep it a secret, like, I'm gonna have to kill Historia. We fought, uh, Trisha's ex-wife. It's a trap! It's a trap! Star Wars is that.
ちを作ったやつはこう考えたいろんなやつがいた方が面白い。Oh, cool. <laughs> I never had shit. Oh, yeah, I never had seafood before. <laughs> Got a new favorite Sasha moment. She loves that seafood, isn't it? She looks meat. <laughs> Even like a pig. With the long hair, Aaron now kind of looks like Ymir a little bit. Very similar. Yeah. Everyone's like the hell with diplomacy. Ah, oh, that brings us back to this. Now the racism is flipped, you know. Mm -hmm. I guess Nicola liked her because, you know, she liked his food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why he's all upset. Oh. oh, our father. He was in season two. Mm. <laughs> Oh, they stole Titan's uh, serum. Oh, <laughs> I'm to double cross them. I just don't trust them. It's like season one how everyone treated Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where are they? Probably locked up. What is Zeke trying to do? I have no idea. I, I guess he wants to help the Eldian people, but that's what, yeah, that's what's that way to do. Okay, so they are locked up. Thank 
Annie? He's talking to Annie? <laughs> And Armin's different, man. Yeah, he's not the same. Okay. Okay, so this one felt like um the aftermath of the Marley saga. Yeah. And also at the same time did feel like what well, we did earlier, a Sasha Sasha tribute. It's so. Sasha tribute, yeah. Um Yeah, it was very interesting to see, like, yeah, they definitely took her that very serious in the show. They gave her it seemed like about seven minutes of the entire episode just yeah. focused around like her funeral and then like even just ten maybe ten minutes, just Sasha moment. Yeah, like it, it was like one last laugh. Cause yeah. Actually, if you watch season four, you know, Sasha is, is barely in it, so like, hey, remember who this character was? Exactly. That's a good, like, <laughs> reminder. <laughs> Soon my stomach growled. Um, I like seeing the three years. We're starting to see what happened during the three years. Um, exactly. Looks like it's interesting how they did that. Started off at three years ago and then came right back again to the present. I think halfway through the episode. Yeah, thinking. they did. So we, we got to see... Um, Yelena, who keeps making these crazy eyes, I don't know if you noticed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a little insane. Um, but if you're following Zeke, I guess you would be a little nuts. Um, Omnia Capone seems like a cool guy. He was the driver when they're on the uh, Zeke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. Wait. I like how um, this episode showed just the naivete of um, the Paradise Island people. Yeah. That other perspective. Like, what? See it. Seafood? What? Things in the air? Why is your skin so dark? <laughs> like... They knew nothing because you know, they were medieval Germany. They didn't know they were living in. They didn't have the same technology. Yeah, exactly. World War II Germany. I did like that. Um, Zeke wants the founding titan. Why do you think? That is, I don't know. I have to rewatch the episode. Cause oh yeah, that other interesting fact when you said with the timeline, we can see that Zeke only has probably a year, or is in the his last year. He's in his last now. year. So, what does he want this founding titan for? What's he trying to do before he dies? Yeah, did he change his mind about um, Marley? Because we saw he was about to do what Grisha wanted to do, and he sold out Grisha. Exactly. Um, but you know, I mean, this that was what fifteen years ago. A lot can change in that time. Um, what it looks like happened was Zeke had a plan, and I guess maybe Aaron went with the plan and tell anybody. Maybe he went on ahead, um, but. I'm sure we'll get more answers. We'll get, we'll get more answers. We'll get more answers. They're good at it. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I didn't think we'd get anything about what happened during the four years. And no. they want to keep that a mystery. No! Uh, they're showing that's us. That's so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, Armin is different. Um, this is what I was talking about. A lot can change. Because Armin used to always say, if you want to win, you have to throw away your humanity. Mm -hmm. He would say that in the earlier seasons. Yeah, I remember that. And now he seems to regret all that now. Exactly. I remember he even talked about like how oh I used to be able to have you know control over Aaron and even more than Mikasa, but now I don't even have then <laughs> I could do even with him anymore. Yeah. Well, well, but I think he, I think Armin, Armin changed ever since he got that Titan ability. Like, yeah. Something changed about him when he actually had to kill people. And yeah. Going through all that transition, I feel like he started just to change as a person. I agree, yeah, because he did have a closest with Annie a little bit, I mean, especially during season one, but I also think having Bertolt's memories with Bertolt, they imply had a crush mm -hmm. on Annie. That's, uh, that's, yeah, I that's think probably that's probably why he's, he's speaking to that. Annie and talking to her. Um, it makes yeah. sense, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, because um, he was close to Annie a bit, remember she didn't kill him in season one, Yeah, I remember. but Bertolt liked her, I think that's influencing him. Um, that makes sense. God, I didn't yeah. think of that. Yeah, yeah. If you watch the show over and over and over yeah. and over... You figure this stuff out. You put these little fun theories. Um, um, Mikasa seems to be upset as well about what happened. And it's interesting because, like I said, I guess it's different when they were always on the defense mm -hmm. on Attack on Titan. Um, this is the first time they took the offensive. Or maybe the consequences feel differently now when they're not defending themselves, when they actually have to do the attack. Yeah, exactly. Maybe that's what it is. Because, like, guys... What Aaron did is in character. If you take him to his, to the the biggest extreme, yeah. Like even when Armin was talking to Aaron, when he's like ruthlessly practicing his gun aim, yeah, symbolizing how the violence to come. 
Arm's like, we can just talk to him. And Aaron's clearly like, nah, no. no. <laughs> He's been doing that since the beginning. Yeah. Like, they're really going with Armin. They're going the season eight Tyrion route. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, let's not do violence. Be the peacemaker. Yeah, see, I told you this guy is just, he takes <laughs> Game of Thrones. Um, um, but no, this was a good aftermath thing. Um, we're getting more of the plan. I love that Zeke and Levi still have this tension. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that because one of the biggest highlights of season three was, you know, Levi yeah. demolishing Zeke. Easily, too. It was a little battle, but... Oh, yeah. And Loki keeps the spirit of Erwin alive. Because you know why he hates him. Like, yeah, because he killed the one guy I respect. Yeah. <laughs> Bless her. But Zeke's wrong with it. I guess when you have less than a year to live, what do you care? Who cares anymore? Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, it's getting it's, rolling. Yeah, um, yeah, but it's going to be interesting to find out. Why does... Maybe Zeke wants to free the Eldians. Maybe, maybe he believes what... Um, it, it could switch, like, where... Zeke's role and, and Aaron's role end up flipping completely. You know, it could be, I, yeah. And he, Zeke becomes a gooder person and Aaron's the worst person at the end. I think, well, Aaron's clearly becoming yeah. the villain. Yeah. Like, um, even if you don't watch Game of Thrones obsessively, how he's shot all the time is always dark and sinister. Like, his, mm. his attack titan form always looks scary now. Exactly. Yeah, like, the framing shows, you know, like, yay, Aaron, like, uh... It doesn't look heroic. It looks dark. Yeah. Um, it was good to get, um, comedy Hanji again, um, because at the end of season three, part two, Hanji was kind of dark and ruthless. And yeah. Good to oh, she's back to being silly again. Um, I didn't yeah. like seeing that. Um, that's why about this time skip. Like, oh, yeah, remember when... Oh, yeah. When things were as dark, dark, and this we had some levity in this drama. Yeah, Ramsey, that was good. Um, I liked uh, Connie's little line about how they were. It was a little meta. <laughs> Sasha and I were uh, like twins. Yeah, you guys were the comic relief. Exactly. <laughs> and now that she's gone. No way. Like, we just made a joke about earlier. Like it's kind of even the one the next one to kill, but probably not. I think that'd be too devastating. Um, no, no, not after episode like this. No. They hit too straight, no. Um, uh, the animation was a little interesting. Yeah, I, told you, I think I, I cut it out in our last video, but I told you some people don't like the animation this season. Oh, wow. Because um, it's high budget. Well, no, I mean, like, just the character artwork. Mm -hmm. Like, I made fun of Armin's nose. Oh, yeah, that, it is. Yeah, little... John doesn't really look like John no. at all. Like, uh, um, But from what I looked up, they said um, they're on a crunch time with this show, production-wise. They're kind of just... Hurrying up and draw. Oh, wow. I know. Well, I'm sure the pandemic didn't help. And I'm sure they didn't have the same teams and things. Like, yeah. Yeah, so you can tell. Like, I like the artwork. I mean, the drawing, though. I, 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 I mean. I pay closer attention now that you guys have mentioned. Well, that. I mean. Well, like I said, Aaron looks like Ymir sometimes. Yeah. Like the, but it's a different company. They're bringing their own flair to mm -hmm. it. So, But we're used to the three seasons of them looking a certain way. Yeah. And they look like this. I, I think only because. If they did do it as a flashback, I think they get they get away with it better with the time skip. The characters mm -hmm. look different because they're four years older. Got you. Now I'm like, seeing them when they're younger. I'm like they kind of look like. You go right back. Got you. That makes sense. Yeah, but what can you do? I That's mean, good point. yeah, what can you do? Um, That's a crazy thought, Marcus. Good point. Oh yeah, I've been watching anime for a long time. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, yeah, because because also what does help is that they do flashback when Aaron's imagining previous episodes. Like, oh, we see how they used to look like, and now they look. A little off. Got you. Yeah. Um, but um, I mean, and when they're doing the flashbacks, they're actually taken from the old animation. They're not using the new. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, like oh, I'm gonna pay attention. To that. Yeah, Dragon Ball Super did that a lot too, where they're using flashbacks from Dragon Ball Kai. I'm like, that's not. See, that's Kai. Bring Z back. But you know, I mean, I, knowing the behind the scenes with the crunch time, and you know, I'll give it a pass. So. Okay. I'm sure fans won't. Um, but I'll <laughs> I'll give it a pass. Like, oh, I'll tell you some. Um. It's gotten crazy. Fans have been like giving out like death threats to the the Mappa um, animators on Twitter. It's fans losing their minds a little bit. Oh, wow. like, guys, guys, the story is still good. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, it's like focus on the story. Fans are ripping it apart like that. It hasn't been bothering me at all, but this episode where we get the flashback, I'm like, uh, yeah, they have a point. But you know, whatever. You know, yeah. we need to know this stuff. Um. 
Like, Hanji looked good, and Levi. I feel like they always, they always spend all the money looking, making Levi look good. Yeah. It sometimes feels that way. <laughs> it's like, how Levi always looks good? Everyone else looks kind of oh, yeah. off. But, but like I said, the story is still good. Um, I do like we see um, that Gabby and Falco or you know. Oh, yeah. In, J uh, in jail. Yeah, they, that was interesting. Yeah, good point. I like they didn't kill them off. Um, yeah. Cause he, well, I wonder why did they kill them off? Yeah, cause, well, I don't know. Because we saw... Um, well, Aaron did say some Marley guys are in prison. He did say that, so maybe they're not killing them. They anymore. killed Sasha. Like it's like they didn't yeah. want to kill. I guess because they're still kids. Yeah, I think it's because they're kids. Because we saw in that episode when Gabby killed Sasha, the uh, Paris Island guys win like boom, boom, so like beating the oh, crap yeah. out of them. But Aaron did say they um, not everyone. He said not everyone was like Niccolo and um, Omnia Capone. Later they have some Mar Marley guys in prison, so I guess they're not killing them off. Um, Mm. So that's interesting. Yeah, that was interesting, and I mentioned that. Yeah, I think Eldians are still a little divided. We saw when they're um they're talking about Zeke's plan. Half of them are all just arguing over it, and it looks like the next episode is going to be more of that, like the political stuff, mm -hmm. which I like. Um, season one had that a little bit. And season three, part season one was three, part one. That was, was all that. It was almost a whole other show. For it's me, all politics. Yeah, for me, with Attack on Titan, season three, part one is like the outlier. I mean, I love season three, but I'm just like, this is just so different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the discussion's gonna be, okay, we struck, we struck fast, we, st wait, we struck first, striked hard, no mercy, sir. What are the ramifications of that? I think that's gonna be the next episode, what they're gonna it's be talking just, about. It's very interesting now. Yeah, yeah, Where we're getting- it's gonna go? Yeah, we're getting to the political stuff, um, which, um, uh, it's, it's gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be the giant battle's coming at the end, everybody. Don't worry, we'll get the action. But I like how this um, the show deals with like. I just the, wonder how's this supposed to end? I'm more worried about how it's supposed to end in seven episodes. Oh, it's yeah. like there's still so much story left. I guess that's what the spinoffs will be. Because for. it's like, what perspective does it end in? Well, well we talked about has to end in all their perspectives in some kind of way, right? Well, we talked about this in episode six where it's, I think they're intentionally doing the whole who do you root for? Yeah, okay. There are no good guys. There are no bad yeah, guys. Everyone dies. But they're intentionally keeping it a who do you root for type of thing. Like Zeke seems a little lighter now and mm -hmm. but Aaron seems darker now. So they're intentionally, intentionally keeping it that way. Um, but no, this was a it's great. This is a very it was a very layered aftermath episode. Yeah, it was very deep. It was like, mm -hmm. especially the first half when you see like the plan come together. You're like, like, oh man, I had no idea. That's how. It's like, man, attack attack. That, that episode is another is a rewatch value for sure. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. That's what we like about the show is just the detail. It's just the detail. It's like I gotta go with that. I gotta go and follow the clues and. It's like what happened. Like wow. Yeah. Um, oh. Oh. And shout out to Sing Historia again. First time this season. The Queen. That was. Oh cool. yeah. Oh wow. I, yeah. And Pixis. So he said, "Yeah, shout out to seeing those guys." Oh, yeah. That was crazy. Like, yeah. I did not expect to see it. Yeah, because it's been eight weeks. Yeah. And it's like, oh yeah, these guys. Oh yeah, our friends. Because we've been with Marley for so long. For so like, long. Exactly. I was like, oh man, I forgot about everybody else. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it was interesting <laughs> seeing that. But no, um, I'm sure they'll get more to do. But seven episodes and we're done. I don't know, man. <laughs> but 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 they managed to put in so much in thirty minutes, twenty minutes. So which they do, yeah. But I, I don't know. Like there's still a lot of story left. It feels, but we'll see. I'm sure they'll stick the landing because, like we said, unlike a certain show that we always Game of Thrones. <laughs> Remember part when we watch this, where we're just skipping details for the sake of um, to get to action. This show's taking its time. Taking its time, like, man. building it up. So yeah, like episode like, fourteen, fifteen. And 16 will be the giant battle, probably. Can't and wait. Yeah, the rumbling, they're calling it, which is an interesting uh, name for the, bringing down the Titans. Yeah. Zeke says he has a plan to do it. I'm sure it involves using him because he has royal blood. Because um, at the end, he's not going to care about it. Like, he's going to just. Yeah. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's going to die. It, um, it's good to have Zeke on your side, though, with it being his last year. He's going to be ruthless. Yeah, I, I think so. Um, and Aaron's taking that from him. Aaron doesn't have his stuff under control, man. Zeke might be after that found and taken for himself. Zeke's not going to get anywhere near that fine time as long as Levi's staring at him obsessively. You don't think Levi's going to be chilling in those woods True. waiting for Zeke to do something? 
true. Yeah, um, it's crazy that Levi just has so much control. It's big titans like that. Well, Levi is, you know, he, he's the strongest man in the world, they call him. Yeah. Only seven left, man. No. So what do you guys think of Brave Volunteers? Um, what is your favorite Sasha moment? Um, let us know in the comments. So, till next time, stay frosty. Bye, guys.